Last time I got interviewed, man, I was like on trial. <laughs> <laughs> like literally. <laughs> Alright. Just for sinking purposes, since I don't have a clap ring, I'm using two cameras. the hell out of me, actually. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, well, if you could, you know, introduce yourself to the world. Daniel Michael Jones, percussion, Beaufort, North Carolina. Background, trombone, band, and uh, just rhythm. Good stuff. Alrighty, Danny. I'm gonna start you out with some pretty basic stuff. One of my main go-to questions. Can you recall the first memory that you had? No. Not really. Uh, let me see. The deepest dark, the, the, the furthest away maybe, uh, would be catching soft crabs in New Jersey. I used to get five bucks for them. Nice. My granddad would hook me up and uh, yeah. That's one of my youngest memories. New Jersey. Yeah. Where, whereabouts? Point, well, Point Pleasant Beach. I spent a lot of time in Asbury Park at the Stone Pony, actually. You know, nice. that's where really the music started, was, was seeing all these young punk bands in the Stone Pony, you know what I mean? Because we had some headliners there, too. Nice. See, punk music? My main go to's, you know, no effects, bad religion, pennywise, lag wagon, me first and the gimme gimme's is great because you got three bands blended together and all they do is those covers are great. Oh yeah, man. Okay. Speaking of punk music, if you had to pick one album that you were left with, that's the only album you can listen to for Got it already. What is it? S and M Airlines, no effects. Nice. Is it a particular song or the whole album in general? Vanilla Sex was a good one. <laughs> really, I mean, because you know, I was young. I was yeah. sixteen, seventeen. I skated the Warped Tour in '96, '97, and um, my Spitfire demo was like an hour before No Effects came on. So I got in touch with all their roadies, and they were giving me money just to load the equipment up on stage for these guys. Yeah, I was still getting paid by Spitfire, but it was you know, a little extra jingle. But I was too young to drink back then, so it was like, you know what I mean? We were out raising hell. Well, you know, that's kind of how All right, so I know you've lived here in Jersey. Where's, out of all the places you live, where's your favorite place to Right here. Right here? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. I mean, I graduated West, shit, in 96. You guys got towed. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the to the number's right there on the private parking sign. I came looking for you guys. I actually walked through town looking for you because I remembered your Grateful Dead shirt. Bummer. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Usually it's okay to park there, though. See, if I parked there, they would you can't make this stuff no, up. No, it's real life. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> right. Is there some place that you've always wanted to visit that you haven't had the chance to? Amsterdam. Nice. Definitely. Netherlands, that way. You know, my family's Hungarian, so I wanted to get up around that area, but it won't let me out of the country. What's the favorite? What's your favorite job that you've ever had in your life? Carpenter. <laughs> yeah, I love building shit. Jesus was a builder. And I've seen a lot of your houses. Yeah, man, probably like, 30 minutes ago. Damn good work. Thank you. Yeah, it's all these historic houses here in Dover. I totally think that, especially with the refurbishing. And oh, man. It's nice. Just the skill it takes to be able to match the original style, sure. the original work, oh, and things like that. Sure. 
found him. <laughs> Sorry. Have you ever had a dream that was so real, so visceral that you still remember it to this day? When I was a kid, I used to have the dream that there was like giants chasing me, like big fucking people, like big giant, like giants. It was crazy. It's kind of weird, but it's just like a really small. Like giants, like going for trapping. Kind of, yeah. Type thing, like you were the size of a brownie. Yes, yes, that's a very <laughs> tiny. It was massive. People. They usually have like a list, but it got lost in the, the files. That's all right, chew from the hip, bro. All right, so what is it that if you had to classify you? What do you do now? <coughs> what is it exactly that you do, like day to day? Like, what keeps your your mind and yourself occupied? Um, nowadays I'm painting a lot. I'm not like painting like art, like painting houses, which is actually art too. But yeah, that's because I'm getting old. I don't want to fucking swing my hammer anymore. I'm over it. Hi. Hello. Did you see my friend? Yes. Got, where he, did he go? He just walked that way, sweetheart. Yeah, well, that way to the park outside. Did you see right. who chose? Yeah. yeah. Who was it? Billy. Billy Ben? Yeah. He got the number from the Yeah, friend. and they, I mean, you just Bella. missed him like so 20 minutes. Went this way. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Life. You know what? And I like it when it is raw. Life happens. Yeah. <laughs> Especially at times. Ah. Yeah. Times like this it's a Saturday afternoon, downtown boat where you got the tourists out. Got the locals in sync. Oh yeah. There. <laughs> she just missed her bro. She just went that way. Just stay here. Stay put. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, so they parked right in front of that. Yeah, that's not a good idea. So if you could pick any job in the world to do for the rest of your life, you've got to wake up and the first thing going through your mind is, I get, I get to go to work, I get to do this. I want to do like pet sitting, like Wade and his uh, old lady do. Yeah, nice. You know what I mean? Just walk dogs, random animals around town. Very nice little That'd be cool. You know what I mean? Very low labor. Animals are cooler than people, I think. Things loud. So, if you guys are wondering what all that noise is, double decker tour bus. The car that got towed uh, parked right there in front of that garage. And they're kind of touchy about that. Because it's just a big bus. It takes there he is, right there. <laughs> so. Oh, never a dull moment in this town, I will say that. Yeah, it's ready to go. Oh, there we go. So what do you think life will be like in 500 years? I do believe uh, atomic war is going to kill our planet. Like, do you feel Nuclear like it's on the horizon? Um, no, I'm saying in 500 years? Somebody's gonna blow up somebody and it's not gonna be good. These guys got all these nuclear technologies, they're gonna fuck shit up. Pollute the ocean. I mean, you already got Narasaka or whatever the fuck that is in Japan that's still leaking into the damn Pacific. Oh, the Fukushima. Yeah. Yeah, that. that is. Then, uh, it's always been an urban legend that during the Cold War, the Russians had underground missile silos that were set to basically automatic mode if anything went wrong. Yeah. And that they don't know where a lot of them are after the regime fell. They lost. And changed, they lost a lot of records. Yeah. So there's that slim chance that there's a little countdown clock that just goes screwy thinking, oh, a sensor went off and yep. all of a sudden nuclear war and nobody did anything wrong. Yeah. You know, scary. It's scary. It's, it's a really frightening prospect. At least Putin's losing now. 
thing. Oh, let's let's definitely find uh, the time. If you guys want current affairs at the moment, the world is losing its mind and at the same time trying to keep its head above water. Boy, there's barely. A lot, there's a lot of hope out there, but there's a lot of people crapping in the punch bowl. For sure. For a lack of better terms. Yeah, no. Speaking of, yeah, no. if you could give a message to future generations about anything, what would it be? Take care of your planet. Please take care of your planet. I live on a boat. My carbon footprint is this. That's all. I fish for my food. Support local businesses. Support local music. You know? Take care of your planet. What's up, guys? How you doing? Doing well. Is there one person in your life that you can think of that's made the most impact on you? My grandfather. Yeah, my grandfather. He passed at a... I was only like 11, but he was the one. He taught me my morals. You know, what to do, what not to do. Just be nice, be kind. Try not to hurt anybody. I say hurt you first, you know. Kind of shit. Give you your bedrock? Yeah. Yeah. When he, he got, when he let, when he died, I, you know, my grandma, I needed all my help I got, so, you know, she taught me a lot, too, but Pops was the man. We used to take me to, uh, he was friends with Bruce Springsteen, right, because we lived in Upper Jersey, and uh, he was the director of public works for Woodbridge, New Jersey, and that's where Bruce lived. So they were friends, and we used to go out to lunch with him. Nice. Pretty cool, man. That is the a nice little relationship. Yeah, the bosses were good, I mean, I always respect him. I loved every song he's ever produced and made and sang. I still have a dream of doing a rendition of The Ghost of Tom Jones. Nice. I love that Great song. Great song. Yeah, 100%. So, yeah, that was, that was it. It was fun. If you could build your dream garage tomorrow, if you got to put any three cars for free in the garage, what do you start doing? I'm going with a Harley first fucker car. And then, and then probably like one of those badass uh what are they call the spiders with two wheels in the front and a big one in the back. Mm. One of them. Like the can ams Yeah, 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 can am. That's what I'm thinking about. And then a uh like a banshee four wheeler. Nice. For sure. Look like heavy horsepower so it can go like really fast and Jump, jump really far. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of, you know, I jump off buildings and shit, you know, that's kind of my thing. Yeah, that was pretty much my introduction. You were seeing a video of you jumping off the second story over. The third story. Yeah, third story. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are, you, are you going jamming or something? Uh, no, we're doing an interview for this podcast. Hello, hello. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, yeah. Good, man. Your glasses are fogging up. <laughs> so, you know that. Yeah. Yeah. on a boat at the moment. How long have you been sailing? My whole life I've been sailing. I've probably lived on a boat forever since seven years. How old are you now? 45. Oh, yeah. Two days ago. You just had your birthday. Happy birthday, man. What? Hopefully, you. it was a good time. It was very good. Very good. Got some laundry done. <laughs> yeah. Good way to put it. The good stuff. I didn't die the next day, you know, I woke up and I was happy. But I didn't go to work, I totally blew up that day. Yeah, it was your birthday. Parents held it sick. It was like a birthday Thursday, Friday, the next day. It's like, come on, I get the two days. Alright, you've been doing awesome, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up with a I saw that. So I saw that. I saw that. Pay no attention to the natives, they're kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to say some words, you say the first thing that pops into your head, right? Hot. Cold. Water. Brief. Happy. Sad. Dream. Nightmare. Clouds. Damn, that's a tough one. Lightning. Arrow. Oh. Time. Wasted. Bandage. Outlaw. 
departure. Precision. Car. Truck. Parts. Nature. Music. Life. Drama. Both. Comedy. Law. <laughs> Order. Chaos. Belief. Faith. Want. Need. Wish. Good luck. Live. Die. Life. Death. Turn. Bright. Wild. Nice. Complete. Finished. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate everything. <laughs> that was good. Uh, yeah, yeah. This has definitely been one of the most interesting <laughs> and eventful <laughs> interviews I've done. It's mostly because of the fact that I've been trying to get up with you for a while. We finally managed to get some time. So I'm like, you know what? Let's jump on this. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, cool. We're fighting weather. We're fighting everything else. And the world is just content with you know, throwing us in here. Yeah. Gotta yeah. love it. Tow trucks. Uh, this place does have its foreign charm. foreign languages and. <laughs> oh yeah, gang. And just in case you thought it might be ambiguous that a double decker bus parks there, <laughs> they have it painted on the door as well. Okay. But it's backwards. It is backwards. <laughs> it looks like it's facing out. It pulls in forward. <laughs> yeah. But it's painted the other way. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Give it up for Daniel Jones. Boy. Take Cheers. care, Dean. We'll see you next time. Uh-huh. That was cool. And I needed to bring my drum over here anyway. I had to go all the way over to the Royal James to get it. <laughs> I thought it was in here on the fucking uh, cooler, but... I wonder who's playing here tonight. You're number one! <laughs>